Welcome to another exciting episode of Games Glitches. Today we're gonna do something special. Today I'm gonna do PvP. Uh, from my understanding, this is basically the PvP tab, the Alliance War that you get a, a, uh, available to you at Le Pen. And on top of that, you will basically see the overview. Uh, how you fa uh, after first at first all of this over here will say zero 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 zero. All of this will not be available. All of this will not be available. Uh, what is this? All of this means? Well, it's very simple. If you see on the campaigns, you have to join a map for you to participate in. For you to make something home, uh, for you to participate in that map, it takes usually about 24 hours for the campaign to finish for you to progress. And here you could see, based on a faction, who is dominating this map. These are all PvP maps, all of these. Different forms of maps that have different quests, different rewards from my understanding. Once you join a PvP, uh, once you join a map, you are stuck with it for next 24 hours. It's like your home, your battleground, so to speak. And this is basically the top ranking to show who is basically ranking up where compared to all the others. You know, and then uh, my understanding is that all of these people are heading towards one thing where they basically go for the emperorship. Uh, as you can see, the current emperor is Sin, so to speak. Um, this is the currently how the towers are being owned. Uh, you know, so you can know where to go, which ones to conquer. What? Well, and as you can see, basically where it, it's it allows you to view how the PvP is going across the realm. These are bonuses, these are privileges that you're getting uh, based on owning that area. These are your points. Even though you could see that they at one point or another, I guess they held more keeps or more um, outposts. That's why they're currently like winning or uh, been winning, but now they're uh, gonna end up losing soon. Uh, basically, you do enter campaign, it searches for a map for you. Well, it searches you to see if you could join in, so to speak. This allows you to travel to campaign, it asks you. I go, sure, why not? Let's see what that hap does. Welcome to the first PvP zone. I have never done this before, so this is, will be quite interesting to see how this works. Let's see at our stats. Our armor didn't really change. Our stat. Oh. Alright, let's check out the PvP zone. Let's see the leg, let's see how it is. Buttload of people are standing here. Uh, let's go talk to the lit chick right there. I must <laughs> didn't notice her. Let me guess. Another new recruit. And you're here to fight for the pact. Ha, <laughs> not likely. You need training. Let's start with an easy task. Mirrored skin. Waits at the southern Morrowind Gate with munitions for the siege range. Use the Transitor's Shrine to get there and back. Bother Herendas can tell you more about it. <coughs> it's your skin. If you think you're ready, speak with Grand Warlord Zimmerin. Only he can excuse you from training. Go to Mir All right. We're gonna go do some training. I'm gonna check that training. All right, let's see. Uh, shows major. Uh huh. Okay. 
let's see this is basically as you guys can see this is the map this is the control territory right here is right now where it seems like the uh, battle is happening place it seems that Ebenhard are, are trying to basically push down southward on this tower and as you can see there's also a battle happening over here Ebenhard are trying to push also uh, west and conquer towards the west basically they want to I believe think that they want to just take the center and be able to attack in any direction. Okay, so now you're given a fast way to travel between all of these locations. Basically allowing you to save time. Quite rap quite well actually. And I don't even need to run back and forth. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Now, Warlord Zimmerman, if I want to skip training, I actually don't want to skip training. All right, we can travel. Nice. So it just teleports you real quick. Awesome. All right. At least I'm getting something done. Anxiety parches my skin. Too many demands, too few supplies. Are you here to soothe or irritate? Ah. <sighs> Blessed moisture. Accept this package of munitions, relieve me of its burden. Take it to Ardal Moor on the siege range, beyond the northern Morrowind gate. Nice, siege weapon. Alright, let's go bring him some siege fucking weapon. What is this right here? Now we're gonna travel to Northern Morrowind. Go turn in the quest real quick. Alright, here we are. Alrighty, let's go turn it. It's gonna be a annoyingly long run. That's why I recommend getting the collector's edition so you don't can get a horse. Let's see if we could take a Skyrim shortcut. Just <laughs> jump down, avoid everything. It would be nice if the horses were able to climb mountains like they did in Skyrim, you know, just literally hopping up the mountain. It would be very intriguing to see. All right, we're almost there. Take another Skyrim shortcut. And here we are. Careful. This is a live firing range. Are you supposed to be here? Took your took your time, didn't you? Olvia mentioned she sent a recruit to fetch these. Since you're here, we could show you the siege weapons. Nothing better than causing massive damage on the battlefield, is there? Nope, nothing. You want to know more about the rest? Hell yeah. Talk to Lutis. The trebuchets, catapults, and ballistae. Speak with looks forward. 
You'd better. That's what they're here for. Spend a few minutes using each weapon. Assault. Support. Interesting. All right, let's see. It's oh, very nice siege weapon. All right. Nice. Fire! Nice, apparently hit the dummy. Let's see if we can do this again for fun. There seems to be a delay, like the, when it launches it, if you like notice. For example, let's say I launch it at this one right here. See, it should have launched it already. Now, all of a sudden, the thing flies out of it. Oh, that one is on fire. I don't even know how the fuck did he light his on fire. But alright, that was interesting. Let's go try the other ones. They most likely will fix it. Damn, nice weaponry. All right, well, about ballista. Damn, nice weapon. Better than what we got nowadays. Catapults are wonderful weapons against enemy troops. Meet bad catapults spread disease. Oil imparts fire damage. And scatter shot causes impact damage. I envy the death you will inflict among our foes with these weapons. Damn, <laughs> that's brutal. Nice, nice. This is very nice. All right, let's try this. Release. Yeah, they need to synchronize the release a little better. Yeah, I see you have to hold it if you move your red thingy. There we go. If you move it before the thing lo uh, lands there, it ends up breaking. Let's try the lightning. Wow. Ah, uh, did even anything come out? All right, let's try this one. Hmm. Huh. 
seems to be broken. Alright, I mean, well, you know, hence the ga name Games Glitches, motherfuckers. It's all kinds of glitchy shit constantly happens to me. Alright, so, um... Trebuchets, we got ice. We got regular. We got fire. For basically fire, devastating damage, and so on. Now, for ballistas. We got regular ballista, we got fire ballista, we got ice ballistas, all having different effects on the target. Now, let's go listen to the other dude. No, he's gonna tell us about that, not yet. Alright, let's fire our catapults. You know what, let's get the oil one. Well, a little delayed on the thing. Just mess with people. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Hey. Interesting. Let's see what he has to say anyway. If you remember that gates are a keep's weak points, you know what a ram will crack a keep open like a warhammer on a mud crab. Deploy a ram, get enough soldiers on it to push it up to the keep's main door. Then stay with it until the door falls in. There's a vat on top of the platform. Use it as you would any other siege weapon. Don't pour it on me or this useless ram. A ram will crack a keep open like no. Some fool recruit broke our only ram, spoiling the fun for everyone. You can buy your own from siege merchants at gates and keeps. Once you get out on the battlefield, You'll get plenty of chances to use rounds. Nice. All right, so you basically get your own stuff. You pop it out. And then you just mess with it. All right, let's try. Oh, damn it. All right. Let's try a scatter shot. Let's see how that works. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Basically uh, like a grenade of AoE. Let's see what's up here. Nice job standing around just pushing oil over onto things. You know, it's only boiling oil. <laughs> you should. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of leg. If you want a siege weapon of your own, you can buy them from siege merchants at our gates and keep. You need to know how to repair walls, doors, and siege engines. Our enemies will batter at our keeps while we bash at theirs. Siege weapons can be damaged too. All this can be repaired. Damn, I hope so. Shit is expensive, probably. Killing the attackers is a good start. Then repair kits can fix some of the damage. Here's a practice repair kit for a siege weapon. Use it on a trebuchet, catapult, or ballista. When you're done, Galsi wants to talk to you. 